When you type a search query into Google, you type more than one-fourth of the words wrong. We hardly know this, but a field of artificial intelligence called natural language processing is correcting all of our mistakes. Natural language processing in the most fundamental level is a field built around letting computers process natural language, as the name suggests. Count-based NLP is a subtype that heavily relies on probability. Similar to other machine learning applications that use models, NLP uses a special kind, called a language model. Language models take in a large training corpus, or a large collection of text, articles, books, etc., containing millions of words, and predict probabilities of certain words, giving their surrounding words. For example, in the phrase, I hope you have a good, the word weekend is more probable to come next than the word quickly, as it naturally completes the phrase. In count-based NLP, we use a language model to give different words different probabilities. We can use a language model to predict the most likely next word, given some context. We could also predict the probability of a whole sentence if we take the product of each of the individual words. I've mentioned that we use the context of the surrounding words to predict the probability of the next word happening in a text. There is a technique called the n-gram, where we use the n previous words, including the next word, to predict the probability of the next word. n-gram's name just means a string of n words. In the most basic level, if we are given a string of n words, we can find the probability of the last word by dividing the number of times the whole string happens in a corpus by the number of times every word except the last word happens in a corpus. And using this method, we can predict the probability of the next word appearing given the previous n-1 words. Language models have uses in all kinds of NLP applications. If we wanted to build a spelling and grammar checker, we could decide if a certain word is proper grammar or spelling by considering how likely it is to appear in a text. Grammatically incorrect examples should not appear in the formal text of our corpus, so they should have a very low, near-zero probability. If we find a grammatically incorrect example, we could look for grammatically correct examples similar to the incorrect word. For example, switching the order of the letters T and H in the word math, or confusing a K with a C, is very likely, while confusing the letters Z and O is not very likely. Typing M-A-H-T instead of M-A-T-H is much more common than typing Z-F instead of O-F. So M-A-H-T is much more similar to M-A-T-H than Z-F to O-Z. This is especially true when typing quickly, like doing a Google search. We would then recommend a word based on the best weighted combination of both scenarios. NLP is not limited to just spelling or grammar correction. The field has expanded to question answering and sentiment analysis, translation, and speech recognition. So what will you do with NLP? Write the script for your next YouTube video?